Noise or unwanted detail in the image can be caused by many factors. Maybe it's a longer exposure or you're shooting at a higher ISO or small sensor size. In any case, it is something that Lightroom can help clean up. Now, what I've done here is turned off the clipping indicators and I wanna zoom in a bit so you can see things better. If we zoom in on this image, you start to see there's quite a bit of noise. This is because of how the picture was captured. In this case, the ISO wasn't terribly high, but it's a longer exposure here of about 1.6 seconds, which starts to emphasize the noise. What you'll wanna do is go down to the details section. This naturally punches in and gives you this little loop. You can also click and set where that loop is viewing if you wanna judge the noise. Now, using noise reduction, increase the amount of reduction. Luminance is gonna go after the overall noise. Now, you don't wanna to be too aggressive or the image starts to look painterly, but a little bit works well and you can still preserve detail and contrast on the edges. If you notice as you zoom in a lot of color noise, there's a little bit in here, you can also clean that up. And what that will do is start to be a little bit more aggressive there to smooth things over. Now, remember, there is going to be noise in pictures. You don't have to get rid of all of it, but taking the time to clean up noise will result in cleaner images. Not every picture is gonna have this problem, but do pay attention. Let's take a look at one more photo here, and you're gonna see that it too has a bit of noise. This rock texture here is important. So as we look at this, we can get an idea of what's happening in the photo. And I definitely see some noise in the image. Let's go ahead here, tone down the sharpening a bit, and reduce the overall noise. Now, you see that that did a nice job. We'll still preserve detail and contrast at the edges, but now a lot of that noise is very cleaned up. What you wanna do though is balance that. Don't be so aggressive that it starts to cause problems in other areas. In this case, this particular image is noisy because the exposure was bumped up. What I had here was an underexposed photo that had been rescued. As you do dramatic changes in exposure, you can see noise introduced. There was a lot of noise in this image because we were so aggressive with the exposure setting, which points to the fact of whenever possible, shoot it right in camera. But as you see here, the flexibility of the RAW format let us recover quite a bit of data that was missing in this photo.